All right, hey folks, welcome back uh, to another day where we make historic brawl decks for every single legal commander. Right now, we're doing everything in Baldur's Gate, uh, and today's card is the Hourglass Coven. May as well just get right into it. Hourglass Coven. It's a six drop, four colorless, one black, and then another black. I probably should have just said two black, but you get the idea. Hourglass Coven is a arena only card. It's an alchemy only card because it has a conjure trigger, but basically. When it enters the battlefield, you draft two cards from its pool, put them onto the battlefield. Other warlocks you get, get plus one, plus one. The cards you draft are all also hag warlocks with a 2-2 stat line. They have a variety of effects. We'll go through them pretty quickly here, actually, just so we can go over them. So they're all pretty simple, but um, Siphoned Breath. Each opponent loses two life, and you gain two life. Most of these triggers are at the beginning of your upkeep. The end of your um, Dark Duress, opponents discards a card, beginning of your upkeep. Ceaseless Torment, beginning of your upkeep, opponent loses 3 life or sacks a card. Inner Weakness, beginning of your upkeep, target creature and opponent controls gets minus 2, minus 1. This seems, this so far has been one of the weaker ones in my opinion. Um, Death Legion, beginning of your upkeep, create a 1 1 black skeleton. It has some uses, but still not very strong. Scored Thoughts, beginning of your upkeep, each opponent mills 5, then exile each opponent's graveyard. Conditionally useful. Um, I have not made much use of it yet when I play this deck. Twisted Visions, Scry 2, very good. Um, Mage's Doom, Warlocks you control have Ward, pay 2 life, very good if you're trying to protect the board state of the rest of the things you have on the board. Noxious Nightmares, Menace, situational based on if you're going aggro. Siphoned Breath, that's all of them. Okay, so the deck I've made with this is basically black control ramp. Uh, you try to take out enough of their stuff to slow them down long enough you play the Hourglass Coven. Despite looking pretty unintimidating, when this actually comes out, it's 9-9 nine, nine of stats on the board spread across three creatures for six. And it's surprisingly effective as an aggro card, especially because unlike a lot of commanders, they can't really just burn it down. Like, they can use board wipes, obviously, but not too much else. So let's just jump into the game, and I'm going to hope that my audio and stuff is not peaking too badly. Let me turn that down a little bit. Um... Feel free to let me know in video chat if somebody's... Or in comments if my audio quality is peaking or kind of bad. We'll just play this out. Let's see. It is Miriam. I've seen a lot of these. I've actually played against it a lot. So the way that we play against this... We're going to have to mulligan this opening hand. The way we try to beat Miriam is we basically try to get our board state set up before Miriam comes out. And doing that means we need to... Our turn one... Let's see if we get what we want... This is not lovely. Um, I'm gonna mulligan one more time just to see. Oh, we'll keep six. So this is this is not what we want. What I'm looking for is one of those hand discard spells. I've played against Miriam a fair amount at this point, so I kind of know how the pacing of this is probably going to go. Assuming that this is like a relatively common version of this deck. Um, let's do. I guess Tome of Legends. Unfortunately, unless we draw Thoughtseize or something on like the next turn, we're in a pretty bad position. One bottom. Um, we're not really getting what I would have liked. Uh, I might do... I'm actually not going to do that. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do black. I'm actually fine with that. Is he actually untrade that? Maybe he didn't read the death touch on it. Basically, our goal is to slow down him getting that out. Um, anything we can do that lends towards that is good. Anything we do that doesn't, um, activate. Yep, Castle Lockwain. Doesn't do much for us. Next turn, we'll have the Hags. I'm gonna play Mind Drain or Erebos. I'm gonna play Erebos here. I'll explain why in just a minute. The main reason is that the Hags are gonna be three bodies on the board, and he's still two turns out behind Miriam, I think. So my hope is that we play Hourglass Coven, and then even if he wipes the board, we can get a bunch more cards off of Erebos. Though my even bigger hope would be that we draw something that lets us chip down his hand. What's he gonna play? He's holding on a 5-drop. Most dragons are between, like, 
most of the dragons in this deck are four to six. Uh, he might be tapping for what's it called? No, he drawn archive. Okay, so he's got a three drop dragon. Oh boy. Really wishing that I had. Well, can't do much about it now. Um, each opponent discards a card. We're gonna do dark duress and ward two. So the other interesting thing about this, it's probably worth pointing out, is that this is kind of minor, but Hourglass Coven on its own is Devotion 4, which is actually enough to just bring Erebos out onto the field. Um, now our hope, obviously, is that all of this is going to make him pause for a moment on playing Miriam, right? And let us get a couple more turns of just punching the crap out of him in. Cast a spell, deals four damage to any target. Okay. Is he gonna pay the life cost? Yeah. I will take action and I will draw some more cards. Each opponent discards a card, cool. Um, so there's not much purpose in mind spiking here then. What I would like to do is get... Well, let's draw first. And then I'm going to do something in just a minute that's going to look a little funky. Um, Piper of the Swarm. Yep. There's another creature. gets minus two, minus one. That's Hexproof, so I just straight up can't hit that. Milling him two does not get me much. Okay. I will hit him for 10. I am. I'll be one off. Alright, this is gonna look kinda dumb, but trust me, it does kinda make sense. Um, I think that still counts as a death trigger, right? Yep. So anything he doesn't play this turn, we're gonna burn out of his hand. And when we play the, Co we're gonna play the Coven again as well. We're gonna hope it's not a count. Actually, if it's a counter spell, he doesn't get to play it. We're set. We're just gonna go face. Oh, he's going to blow up my Hag of Dark Duress, probably. Yep. Give me more cards. Um, I may have made a mistake. We'll see. It doesn't have haste. 7 and 5 is 12. Oh, he's not attacking. Probably the right call for him, unfortunately, for me. Uh, let's see what my next card is before I do that. Siphon Breath. Nice. Um, I'm actually just going to go in with one. Oh, I should have gone in with both. I missed three damage there. Um, next turn, I think I Helm of the Host, the Hourglass Coven, right? We'll see if I can get too many more. The issue is that Sarkhan's on ceiling. This is a cool card. If he plays this, if he has a seven drop, I'm just SOL. He's just going to wipe my board. Seven. That's a four drop. All right. Yep, that makes sense. 
Um, he won't attack with both. What does this have? Does it have haste? I'm gonna decline. I don't really need more cards right now. Oh no, that's that. That will do me though. He actually got his combo off. I forgot about that. So ideally, right? You can see that we're just one or two turns slow. Ideally, what we do is we do stuff like discarding the Hedron Archive and Arcane Signet to just slow this deck down a little bit. Um, we didn't pull any of those spells, and I kind of made a flop in thinking when I should play Mind Drain. Though we might still we still have him on the ropes a little bit. Um. So how much mana? Seven, eight, nine. I have nine. I can. So I can do. I'm gonna do this. Does he have lethal? Nine, seven. This is where things get interesting. I think he has lethal, unfortunately. If I hit him with everything, what happens? He can only block two of them. Since he can only block two of them... Uh, he's, I don't have lethal, unfortunately. We're just going to hit with everything. Try to bluff out. He can't let Erebos and something else hit. So he needs to double block a lot of them. Nine. So he's still going to get hit for Noxious Nightmares and Siphon to Breath. Cool! Victory number one. That was very close. Um, Miriam is very strong. I haven't I'm honestly not planning on making a deck with that card anytime soon, just because I'm pretty sure that's Mythic Slot, right? And I tend to do... I do cards, and I don't have the card, for starters. Okay, Tasha. Tasha's also another fun one. Tasha's basically the same plan, but this is much more the sort of opening hand I would like to have. We've got one, two, and three drops. We've got Mask of Bristlebrand. Um... But most importantly, we have this Mind Spike, which is hopefully going to get let us get rid of one of their ramp spells. Cold Steel Heart, go away. Never come back. That means, so this shows us everything. Okay, so everything else is creatures. Interesting. Dark Steel Legion. Um, turn three might be Heraldic Banner instead. Let's see what... Um, he's going to counter it with Make Disappear, regardless of what I play, right? Which means I think the right choice is Heraldic Banner, because this will beta, this will beta counter. And what I want is Honored Heirloom, so that when he starts trying to use Tasha to fish stuff out of my graveyard, I can just burn it out. I saw somebody posting about how they feel this deck should be... Um, oh, is it a 4-drop? Does he have Negate? He might have Negate. This is a cool card. He's got, now he's going to play Tasha, probably. Joke's on you. There's very few good cards in my deck to be worth resurrecting. Yep, there's Tasha. Uh, 
Um, in your upkeep. I'm gonna go with Warlocks Have Menace. And. Tasha's effects are top of their library, right? And. Each opponent discards the cards. No attacks. He'll do Heroes Downfall targeting Hourglass Coven, probably. Do the plus one, plan to set up. Tasha's very annoying. I can only hit it down two. I don't have much more for land. What I would have liked was the... Um, I would have liked the hag that lets you just sap your opponent's life or something, just set up a very defensive board state and just try to chip him down. Because my deck doesn't actually have a lot of big creatures in it. Um, so we know he's hero's downfall, but I guess everything else is a creature, right? One or two more. I'm not going to lie, though, this is a pretty bad position. Tasha's just obnoxiously strong as a card. Interesting. More counter spells. So he's probably he feels confident. I'd imagine in his. Okay, I think I know what I'm gonna do. This. So the, now he'll do a counter, right? Now he'll do the destruction. Yep. Your commander the command zone. Yes. Toss is just such a stupidly strong card. The minus two... I don't know. We'll see. The fact that it can just win the control matchup that easy is uh, obnoxious. The, also, the creature gains War 2. Wow, okay, yeah, he, he's of the opinion he has me completely locked down, and I can't say that I think he's wrong. Um, all right, Hourglass go into the board again. Does he have more counter spells? Yep. Yep. No attacks. What a very boring card to play against. Vorniclex is probably very funny to play into this, though. Um... Player puts the rest onto their graveyard. Yeah, I don't have any good ways to deal with this. This should probably just be creatures attacking you get minus one, minus one until end of turn. Just because otherwise this is just such complete garbage. The flip side to it is that like the creatures in my deck are not all that great, relatively speaking. Though we've probably lost at this point. I'll play it out. Oh, I've actually had a pretty good win rate against Tasha so far up until this game. The downside to this Conjure effect is that you are relying on... Um, hmm. Let's see if he's just got more spells. Because this is just a very boring blue-black control, right? Like, Take action. I 
Now, the other option that you could do that would make this matchup much better is that if I ran any form of, like, just more hard removal. But I don't have a lot of that. I'm amazed he's not just replaying this. What are the odds that I can trick him into doing something very stupid? Probably pretty low. I don't have a board wipe. What a boring way of playing. Concede. Tasha's... I think a lot of people are asking for the card to be nerfed. Honestly, I'm not sure that it needs it 100%. It's definitely not fun to play against. I'll give it that. Because it's like, hey, here's a blue-black commander that drops on four. And if you don't have Planeswalker removal, just get fucked, basically. Hey, I've played against this person before, actually. I recognize the name. Um, this is a bad opening hand, especially into aggro. I should probably cut Mask of Bristlebrand, actually. Free Mulligan. See, this is the type of opening hand that I like. Um... We are going to open up with Thutsies. Let's go see what you have to play with. Um, Phyrexian Arena is not a threat until turn three. Arcane Signet. Phyrexian Arena. That's one of the new ones, isn't it? Guardian Idol. I really need one more land so I can play a couple of the new things. I might costly plunder my own Guardian Idol next turn if I don't get a... Okay, cool. There we got some land. Let's do City Stalker Connoisseur. This should slow down the aggro a bit. He'll create the uh, mercenary, I think. Yeah, I think he's read my deck pretty well, and he's gone, okay, I can just go on the offensive and win here. Um, what do I kill off? Or do I just take seven? Well, that's actually really easy. I kill off you. I, have, I don't know if I have any board wipes in this deck. Oh, whoops. I forgot that he had that. Nah, I lose for that. Unless I top deck a really good board wipe, which I did not. Um, I don't have the mana to do too much. I thought, that's interesting. I thought mutes would actually um, carry through. Sack that. Let's get some more cards. Three, four, five, six, five. If I draw a land, I think this is my best bet for stabilizing. Though he may just have. Does he have lethal? Four, four, five, 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 ten, four, four, eighteen. He's got lethal. Good game. Ugh. Hmm. I'm a little bummed. This deck's actually been doing pretty well right up until today. Is he just... I'm mildly insulted that he's... Got lethal, my dude. 
Ugh. Mostly because these are all actually commanders that I've been winning against. I'm glad I got that first win against Miram. But uh, let's do let's do a little more. We'll just keep playing. I like to see if I can usually get um, like three wins. Let's see. Also, gonna quickly look up. Okay, no, I'd like to see the. What I'd like to see is the predicted temperature as the rest of the day goes on. Um, who's our opponent? Okay. I'm gonna mulligan this. I'm gonna regret keeping this. But it does give us Warlock, which I think is decent. This is the dude who lets you ninjutsu. So let's do... There's no one drop creature spells that I'm aware of yet. So I'm just gonna do Dusk Legion. Yep. I really wish this was warrior then it'd have some synergy with expert, but you can't always get what you want. I think he's digging for a land. What does he throw away? Okay, so yeah, this is, I know how this deck works. Now that just raises the important question of, do I know how to try to beat it? Um, I'm gonna put you, actually. Yeah, I, for some reason I thought I got two of those, but Rankle I think is still the one I want, especially if he plays, yep, Midnight Clock. Yep. So he's setting up for his big turn. I'm not going to let him. Each player sacrifices a creature. Each player discards a card. Um, I'll discard that. I have zero interest in letting you set up for your bigger combos. So instead, Acquisitions Expert. I think he has a return things to hand. Um, next to combat. One attacker. Each player sacrifices a creature. Each player discards a card. Uh, yeah, just each player sacrifices a creature. Put your commander somewhere else where I don't have to deal with it. Yeah, he must be sitting on a counter spell. Or return to hand. I'm not sure which one. Ooh. Or he's just playing full control. I think I'm on an Inquisition of Kozliak next turn into Dollhouse of Horrors instead of... Yeah, I think this is the right choice. Instead of the... Never mind, Thoughtseize. Inquisition of Kozliak, but slightly better. Okay, yep. Oh. I think he was holding a counterspell for the hag, but only had one and didn't know have a better option. Let's do a couple more. What time is it? I'm kind of waiting for it to cool down outside so I can go running. Because then I'm going to go, I'm going to go running. Um, okay, we have two drops, three drops. 
Who's our opponent? Cabaretti. I'll keep... I haven't seen too many with this. I'm assuming that this is quick ramp. Given the, that it's ramp, what's his two drop? I'm going to play that. Get rid of you. So we know his hidden cards less than two. Um, do acquisitions expert. He's probably going to throw... Okay, interesting. So I think this game... The right choice for me... Is to try to burn his stuff down as quickly as possible. Um, I'm going to do this. Next. No attacks. And turn. Bolus is Citadel if we can get it out quickly. I think we've slowed down. Oh no, you know what this is? I think this is semi-elf tribal of some form. Um... If I do Lantern of Revealing... I'm going to make a risky play here. I'm going to give him a free card for Trotsky. I'm going to do Lantern of Revealing, and I'm going to get my Hourglass Coven out one turn early. I think this is Elf Tribal Rocco. Interesting. I haven't played against that. Um, I don't care too much about losing the Acquisitions Expert, but I do care about you drawing cards. I'd like to minimize that if possible. Uh, you know what else I could just do here? No, we're going to do our last Coven. The stupid thing to do is bowl a Citadel and go, you know what? I'm just going to be lucky. Um, Ward and... Dark Duress. No attacks. Next turn we'll do Bolus' Citadel. I need to, okay, I need to do Bolus' Citadel before I play land. That's like a bad habit that I have as a magic player is, is, is I play land first thing turn, no matter what. That's probably a habit from playing paper, honestly. Oh, he's going to have a lot of mana next turn. Um, is there a way I can... I don't want to give him more cards. I want to stop that as fast as possible. That's fine. Okay, that's very good. Well, it's a Citadel. My dude. Like, I don't know what you are waiting for. Waste not. Oh, he's going to have Crater Hoof Behemoth in the deck. I don't have an answer for that. Um, okay, that's unfortunate. I think we lose here. No, wait, do we? No, I don't. I don't lose yet. It's very close, but I don't lose because he doesn't have any red mana sources just yet. 
And without red mana sources, he can't go fetch. Okay. What do I do? To, I don't have an answer to Created Horse Behemoth. I don't have counter spells. But he can't play Roko. I think I trade out Hourglass Coven next turn and then replay it to get some more Hags. Um, I need to kill Circle of Dreams Druid. Because right now he's on five. Six, seven, eight. That's still a lot. What is Crater Hoof Behemoth's mana cost? Crater Hoof Behemoth. Crater Hoof Behemoth is an eight drop. If I can't make him clear the board, I just I'm hosed. read what this does. That doesn't get trample, right? X is number of creatures you control. Yeah, Crater Hoof Behemoth is, is the threat. So... Um, you can block without dying there. You can block and you don't die, and I'm fine with that trade. I want you dead, and you have... This is fine. Move your commander to the command zone. Yep. Why did that die? Right. Castle Lockwain. Um, will I have any mana left? Yes, I will. Hag of Death's Legion. Time to play Toolbox Magic. Uh, okay, that's not what I wanted. No attacks. So now we just try to minimize damage that we take this turn. We have a lot of tools, but not as many as I would like. You could probably make this deck a lot better with more removal and stuff like that, but... Eh. Okay, so I know what his... I know his win con. It's basically drawing a red mana source. Um, I might give up Hourglass Coven. We'll see what he attacks with. He can just keep doing Hydra, but I need these Hags of Death's Legion so I can get a wall, at least for a bit. Um, yeah, yeah, I know what I'm doing. Okay. One. Two. Okay. Swamp. Um, mills two. Discards two cards, mills a card. Yeah, we'll play that. Give me some more tools to work with. Oh, okay. I'm also happy about that. I'm mildly pleased that I no longer have to deal with Shelladrod. That's cool. Um, there's no point in playing that Thought Season unless I just feel like just burning life. I feel like just burning life. Um, I don't have many other ways of just drawing more cards. Go Shintai of Hidden Cruelty. Means that he will have to stop his General Assault with that other one. Sack a creature. I will give up... Get one of these skeletons. Yep, okay. And then... Next to combat. I... Do I go with everything? Do I switch over to playing aggro here? I have so little life left. 
I think I just hit with one. Yeah. That was probably a mistake, actually. Um, decline. He needs one red source. He probably is kicking himself for throwing that other one away earlier. Of course he top decks it. Um, is that lethal? I don't know. Well, let's block with everything. Um, the biggest threat is the Crater Hoof Behemoth. I would like it to go away. One, two, three, four. So that is... Uh, it's just... Okay, so right now it blocks five. There's still four more incoming. Okay, so let's see. So right now we are blocking... Eight of the crater. So one incoming. May as well just block with everything. God, he just he top decked the one thing that I was afraid of him pulling. I did this wrong. I should have been more careful in how I blocked this. One, two, five. Yeah, that's lethal. That's eight. The worst part is that I could have I could have I could have lived this if I had just held the hourglass coven and not attacked with it. That's probably just a misplay on me, I think. You can't do much else. Like Let's do a couple one more two more games, I think. Maybe the temperature will drop enough that I can go outside and not spontaneously combust. There's not much you can say to that one. I knew exactly what his win condition was. I should have been better prepared for him. I just didn't think he was going to top deck it. Um, he only has two land sources. I'm getting rid of your environmental sciences. Sign in blood. I think he might have somewhat accurately understood what my deck does. Um, Celestis. Yep. Do I have a way to gaining life easy? I don't, but I'm gonna play this. Oh, that's a human? That's unfortunate for me. Um, hourglass go open. He's not going to be a grave reanimator, is he? He's going to get his big thing out, though. gonna get his treasure. Clever. Uh, can't attack unless you control four or more artifacts. He's gonna get his big dragon out next turn.
I want more targets. Yogmoth is also great because you can kind of just. I think I see. I think I see it. Um, if I sacrifice everything to get rid of Opportunistic Dragon, get Witch of the Moors back. Yeah, this is not a great plan, but it's a plan. Take the two. Yep, got a bunch of treasure. Oh, but you got it. Yeah, he's gonna have the flyers next turn. I don't love that. Whatever. My turn. Six, seven. Um. Hmm. I can proliferate twice. Okay. I don't have a way of gaining life just yet. Yes, I do. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Sacrifice another creature. We're going to put one more counter onto Opportunistic Dragon. We sacrifice Sedgemore Witch. Yep. Get set to more witch back. Yep. Now I get mine back, and now we're gonna change the time of day. I'm gonna discard that. I think I still lose. I guess I'll take this back. <laughs> Alright. You still don't have lethal, and I'm still not giving up. Oh. That was anticlimactic. I think I have time for one more game. Then I'm going to make dinner, do some baking, do some work, probably. Ooh, okay. Let's see this. This is so this is the commander, it's a new card, it doubles adventures basically. This is not a good opening hand. Um he's on the play. He doubles adventures, which means this can be a longer game, which means I might be safe to keep this. I just don't I don't love this. I'm gonna That's not the mulligan button. Oh, uh, well. Arcane Signet. Um, I would love to hold this, but instead we're just going to go see what he has to in his hand. If you have no land cards in your hand, seek a land card, non-land. Otherwise, seek two non-lands. Non-creature, non-land. So, four creatures. I'm getting rid of that. I might regret that. Litho Form Engine can be really good, but... Okay, interesting. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell. Um, and I guess we'll do... 
waste not. This is a great card. Okay. I don't think he has... Interesting. Uh, I'm going to hope that you don't have a... I don't think there's any 3-drop board wipes. Yep. On creature and on land. Yep, draw a card. Draw a card. Draw a card. Swamp. Mindstone. Tegrid, God of Fright. He's sitting on a. Is he sitting on a board wipe? He can't have been. Otherwise, he wouldn't have. Otherwise, he made a, if he was, he made a mistake discarding Migration Path. What did he get a 2-2 zombie from? Oh, casting an inner Sorcery. Yeah, sorry, it's cast, not copy. You only get one zombie off that. Uh, that's still a lot of zombies. That's still a lot more zombies than I would like you to have. I'd like you to have no zombies. I... what? You may copy it. So that's three copies total? That's nine damage directly to my face. Yes, I will like that. I would like more cards as well, but... I don't actually have as much to work with here as I would really like. These are decayed, though. Right? Um, that's going to be a 1 1. That's a 1 3. Sacrifice Mindstone, draw a card. Okay, that's really good. That's very good. Next to combat. I'm actually just going to go in with everything. That static is kind of annoying. Is that intentional? Oh, okay. Well, um, that was a very short game. Maybe we'll do one more. Uh, time it takes to master one blade, he mastered two. Part of me is like, that's really dumb, but part of me, like, still likes it. <sighs> oh. Alright, let's do one last L. <sighs> so I think this does a decent job of showing off the deck and also showing off its weaknesses. Um, obviously, you could... Okay, interesting. Um, do I mulligan that for this? I'm going to mulligan for this. This is much better. Keep seven. Oh, man. That's concerning, because that means this is probably a fairly well-tuned deck. I don't like playing against well-tuned decks. I like playing against really bad decks that I can win. Let's do this. Black. Um, we'll have four, we spend three, we spend two, yeah. Also, tuned decks, well, tuned decks run removal. That audio is now really loud. Yeah. He's going to have his commander out next turn. 
Automatic Lantern, Mind Stone. We might have already lost this one. Oh. Okay. I would have played my commander because I'm still going to play my commander on my turn. You have not slowed this down. Maybe he's just trying to create as much board state as possible. Um... What do I want here? They just doom. How do I hide that effect? I'd like to see what this is. View browser. Minus one, minus two. Yep. This card is just really strong, and if I don't pull removal for it, I am going to be in a very bad spot. I'll probably start by killing off that, though. Five, six, seven. Three, three, and one. Non land creature, non creature, non land. Let's see if I regret this. I probably will. Doesn't have haste, doesn't have haste. Each spell. Priest of Forgotten Gods, bugger off. Hourglass Coven. No attacks. Oh, I should have looked at their stat lines more carefully. This doesn't have trample, does it? It doesn't. So Mask of Gristlebrand will buy me a little bit of time. This is just one of the most aggressive. We're pretty hosed here, though. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. But I wouldn't give to top deck Tegrid right now. Actually, I, that's not true. I uh, three and five. I I need like I need Tegrid and I need a land. Give me Tegrid and a land. Yes. Goshen Tai Hidden Cruelty is not what I want. Oh, I got a land. Um, he can hit me for 11. Do I just let him do that? Hmm. I might have to. What's the alternative? Mask of Bristlebrand, Tag of Inner Weakness. I won't have enough. Okay, I, I like this better. Mask of Gristlebrand, Hag of Inner Weakness. 
Um, Doshinti, non-creature, non-land card. Um, Goshintai of Hidden Cruelty. There is nothing with toughness X or less. Let's see his hand. Meat Hook Massacre. Go away. No attacks. His answer to that is Pyre Sledge Arson Arsonist, unfortunately. I don't have an answer to Pyre Sledge Arsonist right now. But... Yeah. Oh boy, tuned decks are a real nightmare. Oh, uh, I guess he knows which one I have to. I don't actually have to, though. I can sacrifice this. Neither of these are Tegret. I'll take 17, right? I'll take 18. That's not lethal. Um, no blocks. One life. A lot less life than I would have liked to have, but... Okay. If he top decked into a burn spell, I'm going to be mildly pissy. Um, replicating ring, yeah. Rankle, master of pranks. Um. No attacks. Does he just have lethal if he goes in with everything? Not yet. He does if he just plays Pyre Sledge Arsonist, though. That's game. Oh, I can't pay the trigger to just die. Boo. All right, that's game. He was taking too long to hit combat step. Mm. You know, I was like, oh, we'll just do one more, one more, one more. But I want to end on a win. On an actual win. Oh. <sighs> Whoa, okay, this is a new card. Uh, what is... Let's see what you do. Interesting. This is going to be very cursed. So I think I... Sure, we'll keep this. This is some very interesting colors. Um... I don't like that. If I do Heraldic Banner this turn... He's still missing a black mana source. That's a W! End on a win! I could just do one more, but that's a terrible idea. Um, so we will. That will be 
that will be all the magic that's being played for today, but... Do, 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 do. It will not be quite the end of the stream. So, time to rank Hourglass Coven. I guess there's a, so there's a lot of things that are kind of neat about this card that I didn't really take advantage of in the deck I made with it. Main one being that these cards are conjured, right? So if you had some form of tribal reanimation and you could get them to get killed off, and you could bring them all back, right? They're not tokens. I think this is a pretty strong card. How does it how does it match up as like a mono black commander? Is it A tier or B tier? John Arrakis was in B tier for basically just saying each turn at the end of your turn draw a card. I think the Hourglass Coven is a little bit. This is also just a funness. How how fun is Hourglass Coven? B tier or A tier? B tier or A tier? You know what? I like it, but I don't think it's good enough for A tier. I think it's solid and interesting, but the fact that it's mono black doesn't mean that it has much access, if any, to the biggest trigger that would make it really awesome, which is ETB. And sure, it has some use as Warlock Tribal. It's definitely a cool card, but I would not rank it as like the greatest thing I've ever seen. So we're going to put Hourglass Coven in B tier with uh, John Arankius. Sorry, buddy. These are really small. Maybe I should make this bigger so that people can actually see what it is. I'm also thinking about editing out S tier. But in other case, that is today's stream. Um, I'm probably going to try to do these every day, basically until I run out of cards to do them for. By which I mean I run out of actually already owning the cards. I'm going to see if I can minimize spending wild cards to do this. But that will be the end of the stream. So... Anybody who stopped by, thanks for watching. If you like the stuff, lick the scrib, um, all that jazz. Uh, if you have comments, feedback, whatever, just post them in. The, I will read all the comments. I do read all the comments because there's only like five of them total across all my videos. And I will see you next time. Till then, take care.